Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, today we had some vape mail, which I was quite surprised by, because uh, bank holiday weekend and it's Friday and there we go. Mind you, the things I'm showing you come from uh, Vapists and Vaporizers, and uh, Vapist, the good man that he is, he always seems to ship stuff out and it just arrives the next day. There uh, could be a war going on and stuff would still arrive. Anyway, stuff he sent me today. Um, 3B cases. Now, I've reviewed a 3B case in the past and it was what is now called the Quattro version. Um, the reason I'm reviewing, uh, reviewing, reviewing these ones is that Vape has got in touch with me and he's actually got some in stock now that are unique to his store. Um, they're actually done in the colours of the store, uh, so they're, you know, you won't get them anywhere else, just from Vapor's Vaporizers. Now you've got three, you've got the Asso, the Doblo, and the Quattro. The Asso is £12. <laughs> and if you've, got, <laughs> if you've got the Uranus, the Uranus would fit in the Asso really nicely. I don't know who makes these names up. Probably means something, but I don't know what. Uh, and you've got the Doblo, which is £15, which is this one. And the Quattro, which is £24.99, which is this one. Right. They're all made from uh, a corduroy material. It says Corduroy 1000. I don't know what that is, to be perfectly honest. Um, and just looking on the site here, you know, uh, all the information's there. Probably more information than I'll give you, to be perfectly honest. But uh, vaporsvaporizers.co.uk. Now, we'll start with the, <laughs> the asshole. Um, right. See the back? It's got this, it's like a rubber material, rubberized material, but it's got like a, a belt hook there, you know, you can pass it through your belt um, and carry your mod that way, or if you've got a lanyard, you can put this around it and just hang it from your neck. And it's got the 3B logo on the front there, which is, once again, as I said before in the, the review a while back, um, the stitching is bang on. It really is. It's great stitching. I mean, this is not coming to bits on you at all. It's very, very well made. Uh, I'm once again, quite impressed. Now, this one is for a single model. And just to demonstrate it, you see you've got your Velcro here, and you've got Velcro at the top there. And You've also got a wee pouch in there. I suppose you could use for something, mind you. No, it wouldn't fall out. You could, uh, do you know, you could store a battery in there, quite the thing. Ah, uh -huh. right. I thought the, the fairest way to test this would be with, uh, now this is a Roller 18650 mode with a 5mm um, Origin on top. So this is a bit of a beast. The video is playing up again. Uh, and here we go. So, pop this down, and there we go. Perfect. And that's not going anywhere at all. Quite like that. And I'm just going to check something here. Right. Pop a battery in this front section. Still not going anywhere. That's great. I wonder if they meant to have that as a battery compartment. I don't know. Maybe you can store wick and stuff like that in there, but uh, that's quite smart. Uh, right. Uh, what else can I show you it with? Right. Here's a little hybrid. Somnium hybrid. Uh, and 18350 mode. And that fits in there just nicely. And there we go. Now, I'm going to show you all these cases. The only, only thing that sprung to my mind, which I 
personally think it's a bit of a I don't know, it might just be me being pernickety, but I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity. Now, the Velcro there, okay, you get that pocket there, but for me, if the Velcro had run along here as well and lost that pocket, it would then mean that you would be able to, you know, close it right down if you have an 18350 mod in there. Because as it stands just now, you're always going to have that gap there because that's as far down as the velcro goes. Now, it's, it's it's no big deal. It's you know it's still not going anywhere uh, or anything like that. It's still secure. But personally, I mean it's just my personal opinion. Uh, I would like to have seen you know the ability to velcro it there. Okay, this would have flapped about. Unless you had Velcro running right down there, which might, you know, the look might not look as good. But uh, other than that, it's, you know, if you're going to a vape meet and you're going fishing, uh, you're going out and about, uh, and rather than just slapping it in your pocket, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty impressive case. Uh, certainly my cup of tea. Uh, and I like it. It's well made. It's going to be waterproof. Um, and for the money, it's a bit of a billy bargain in my opinion. Um, I really do think it is. I love the stitching. Anyway, uh, so, that's the SO. Somebody tell me what that means. All I can find is that it's a uh, community or something in Italy, Italy. Uh, that's about it, um, it's probably, no, it doesn't mean one in Greek, I'm losing the plot here, see I just took it because this is quattro, it might have meant it held four things, this would be another language for, it's doblo, uh, but this one, uh, once again you've got the same, this material at the back, it's like a neoprene type, you know, rubber, Material, you know, that's not going anywhere either. Okay, uh, and once again, video stopped. Open her up, and you've got the velcro latch at the top there. You've got this pocket here if you want to use it for anything, and you've also got this is velcroed in here. So you're going to be, that's quite a big pouch in this one. So, you know, we've got a hybrid, uh, an 18350 hybrid and an 18650 with an Atty on top. No bother at all. In fact, you could probably get quite a bit more in there. I would say you get two mods in there, easy. Uh, you'd certainly get two mods in there. I've got a box mod. I've not really got a tall box mod. Uh, you know, something like the... There's a Minos by Root. Uh, that fits in there quite nicely as well. Once again, you know, got gap, you can't fold it right down, uh, which I probably would like to have seen, but you know that. Um, or you'll get one mod in there, pile of batteries and God knows what else. Um, and the fact that this one's actually got a, it's got a Velcro patch in the inside. Now you're going to be able to hold lock gear in the bottom, possibly. Or... Am I just... I'm such a dick sometimes. I'm slow, but I get there. That's why it's got Velcro in the middle. Your mods aren't going to collide off one another now. You know, that Velcro strap running in the middle there, it's holding them separate from one another. A lot better. There we go. 
and that one's £15. Pretty smart. Anyway, right, take the mods out of this one. Now the last one, um, take this out, Quattro. Now, I have reviewed the Quattro before, but it wasn't in this colour and it was more a canvas, it wasn't the, the corduroy. Um, like this, you've actually got a zip pocket at the front here. This is so QVC, this. Uh, <laughs> you know, you've got a pocket at the front there, you store wicks, mesh, condoms, whatever you want in there. Um, but, uh, you know, nice wee zip pouch. But inside is where it really happens with this thing. You know, you've got four pouches here, and you've got two large pouches on this side, and in the middle, you've got your straps. If you wanted to, that is, you don't have to do this. You know, you could hold your mod like that. Notice this doesn't have the belt holder on it. This is more a carry pouch. Uh, so you can hold your mod in it like that. To be perfectly honest, there's so many configuration options here, it's kind of scary. Uh, what will we go for? Well, I would say there's I can get in here. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, the wee, there's a wee uh, Nova V2 that fits in that pouch just fine. Uh, so I can get a couple of hybrids in there, but of course, you know, you're, you're going to have to think, you're probably going to have to put your, uh, if you have any hybrids around like that, you're going to want them standing up the way, you know, so they don't leak. So your atties and things will probably go on this side. Well, that's what I would tend to do. Um, there's a Somnium. Just pop that in there. A Bliss. So, you know, I could get four Atties in there. Uh, my mod here. Uh, and working wire and stuff in here if you want, you know, that's pretty smart, uh, I think with uh, the likes of things of vape fest and stuff like that coming up, uh, you know, I can see a few folk going for this kind of thing, because uh, it makes it a really, really easy way to transport your gear about, um, so that's the Quattro, which was, I've got in my list here, is twenty four ninety nine. Uh, none of those are including delivery. Uh, I should point out all the prices. So the ask was twelve pound, the double was fifteen, and the quarter was twenty four ninety nine. And uh, just to clarify, if you go along to vaporspaperizers.co.uk, you'll see all of them on there. There are other colours, but these colours are specific to vapor vaporizers. You'll not get them anywhere. Now, Vapor sent these along to me free for review, uh, just to let you know folks see them. Um, I'll probably give them away at a later date, uh, but right now, I've got to say, for me personally, because uh, I don't get out and about much, but, uh, you know, the single one's just, it's a cracker, I like that, so I can go on my belt next to my Nokia phone, and my keys, and that, no, I'm kidding, uh, but, no, very smart gear, and, I'm not surprised because the last stuff I had from 3B was uh, spot on as well. And uh, that's it. Listen guys, as always, thank you for watching. Big thank you to Vapus for supplying these so that I can show them to folk. And uh, go along to the site and uh, have a look. But uh, 
Any questions that I can't answer, then uh, give Vapus a shout directly on the website or drop me a email or get me on Facebook or my webpage. Uh, we'll speak to you later. Cheers now. Bye.